Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So would you believe that I have yet another haul for you guys? I promise you I do do more with my life than just shop. In fact, this is actually an order that I made around a month ago now and as you can see by the title of this video, it's a Colourpop haul. So I did this order about a month ago when Colourpop had their sale going on. I think it was like 15 or 20% off everything and I couldn't say no because I still have my GoSend membership. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave a link to everything down below. It's basically like a USA forwarding service so you can shop things as if you're in the US and then you just pay a little bit and then they send it over to you. So I did that. I chose the like slower shipping option, the really, really cheap one, just because I wasn't in any rush for this. Um, so it did take about two weeks or so by the time the order had actually gone through and the orders were delayed because of how huge the sale was. Um, but I finally have it and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up because I cannot even remember myself. So I think I picked up like 10 ish lip products. I did only pick up the lip products because they are my favourite and I got a mixture of the ultra matte and the satin ones so let's just have a look. So the first shade that I picked up is the colour Solo. I will do like cutaways and everything for this but this just looks like a kind of pinky almost like I'm trying to think of the name of it but like a Kylie Jenner sort of lip colour. I also picked up the shade Bianca. Um, this one looks a bit more like they've all sort of settled a little bit in the post but this one looks a bit more like a neutral pink tone so I don't know if you can see that at all but like I said I will be doing cutaways and everything but um, that's it in comparison to solo was it um, so yeah one's just a bit more pinky than the other still in the ultra matte I picked up clueless again pinky nudie shade so these are the other two that one's clueless at the top they all look pretty identical, but that's just more of like a more of like a pink shade, I guess. Like these are more sort of like neutral pinks, whereas that one's just like a kind of like a pink. Oh, that's more like it. So this one again is ultra matte and it's in the shade platform. This is more of like a, a nudie shade, and this one seems very, very watery, but I did find the last time the really watery ones were the best ones. I've also got Limbo, which I believe my friend Nikki has, and if it's the one I think she has, she always looks really, really good in this, so I picked this one up as well. It's a bit more of like a, a wintry shade, um, but I, I wanted this one originally when I first heard about Colourpop, but I never really picked it up because it isn't like an everyday sort of thing, but um, like a really nice brownish shade, and I think this is meant to be quite a close dupe to the Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K. Next, I've got Shimmy again, very, very similar to all of the other pinks. This one's just a bit more of a lighter pink. So you can see I'm loving pink lips lately, um, but that one seems like a really sort of nice, neutrally, almost grey toned pink. I've also got Vice, which looks like a pinker version of that one. So yeah, like I said, not much of a colour variation, but they do look quite a bit different actually on the lips. Well, that's what I found with... Um, Colourpop Cosmetics anyway, uh, but these two seem to be sort of like more of an everyday kind of lip colour. Next we'll move on to the satin ones. I haven't actually tried any of the satin lip creams yet, so it'll be interesting to see how they are. But, oh, what's this shade? This one is Mess Around, and it seems like a really nice, almost like a mushroomy shade. Um, you guys will be able to see it better in the actual cutaway, but this seems really nice. I really like this one. It's almost like Christmas because I don't remember half of these colours that I picked up, so it's all very exciting to me. So next up we have the shade Marshmallow. I remember picking up Marshmallow. This is like a full on like grey, purpley colour, like a lot different than all the other ones. It's kind of like a more of a, not overly wearable shade, but you know I love me some crazy coloured lipstick sometimes, but I really, really like this. I'm so excited to try this one on. In fact, I'm just going to try it on my hand quickly because it just looks so good. It's like a grey purple shade. Oh man, that is, yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. God knows if it will suit me. It'll probably make me just look like I have like hypothermia or something, but hypothermia is the new black. And last but not least, I have Little Stitious. Let's just do another swatch of this one as well because it's the last one and why not? That's like a really nice neutral everyday colour as well. How does that compare to the other few that I picked up? So you can see these are like the more neutrally shades. Um, if I show you guys all the colours that I picked up, you can kind of see that they're all very much the same. Like the only different colours that I've got are Limbo and Marshmallow, I think. But they're all pretty similar. 
I think I have a problem. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post every Thursdays and Sundays. In regards to what's on my lips, because I know we'll get a few questions, it's the Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Wonderland. I absolutely love it. And I have done a video all about these as well, so I'll leave a link to that down below. If you guys have any video requests or any questions or anything like that, then please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get around to doing them. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.